$2.4 million in cash, heat sealed and stuffed in suitcases. And according to law officers, the smell of crime all over it. When the cash was unsealed to be counted by sheriff's deputies and other staff, the overwhelming odor of raw marijuana was emitting. Sasha, a sheriff's canine seen in this file footage, detected the Here. loot in an RV. A Lancaster County Sheriff's deputy pulled it over on Interstate 80 just west of Lincoln Thursday morning for following another vehicle too closely. The 65-year-old driver and 63-year-old passenger, both from California, were arrested. We have found additional evidence supporting the fact that this money was the proceeds of narcotic sales. As for the money, it will remain in evidence for now. But because authorities plan to go after the suspects on state criminal charges, the only way they can pursue civil forfeiture is through the federal courts. Currently, Nebraska is the only state that considers it double jeopardy. This is one of those things where you just kind of shake your head. Like Bellevue Senator Tommy Garrett's LB 1106 would change that. It would tie forfeiture to a conviction in criminal court. He originally introduced the bill to protect people who had property seized but never criminally charged. We want to go after the bad guys and we want to protect innocent citizens. Garrett is trying to make it a speaker priority bill so it can be debated yet this session. It's too late for this case, which will probably go through the U.S. Department of Justice. That department has greatly reduced the amount it returns to local agencies in forfeiture cases. Law officers say that's not their main concern, though. We want to ensure that this evidence is not go back in the hands of those involved in the distribution of narcotics. $2.4 million is, is a, a nice little some to take out of uh, the bad guy's hands. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.